Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. I'm the Drunk Poker Room. Tis beer time. It's been a couple of days. Well, you know, after four years of living in a global pandemic, caught up to old poke. Doing okay, though. Feeling fine. Recovered. Ready to go again. I, I decided in the better part of, uh, you know, better part of Valor's discretion just to not have a few beers for, you know, five days there. It was weird, man. It was weird. Anyways, I go home today from work, and sitting at the back porch is this from our pals at Sean and Ed's Lager Shed there in Dundas, one of the prettiest little breweries you've ever seen. Uh, a whole bunch of beers, and I'm like, well, if there's ever a sign that we can have a beer, I think today is that sign. Uh, they sent me a couple of two of each, the Lager Shed Dark, the India Pale Lager, which I really, really love. Their classic barrel shed amber ale. The, the, the lime cerveza. I don't, okay, we can try that there. And the straight up lager shed. Like, I was going to say, maybe I'll do that. You know, just have like a regular beer to ease in. And then I'm like, what is this beast of the East that's here? Tempest Strong Ale. 7.5% made with locally sourced honey from their friends at Humble, Humble Bee Inc. here in Hamilton. I'm like, well, if you're going to get back on the horse, why not get back on a 7.5% strong ale? Because that's who I am. Well, we'd be doing a... An advent calendar beer, I honestly don't know. We might get back into that on the weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it easy, guys. You know, it's okay. It's okay to take a break. But again, I didn't make like an announcement or anything because I'm like, it's just social media. Relax. I did have two or three people reach out, so I'm okay. I'm fine. But yeah, when you post every day for eight years and then you don't post, there's a couple people that were concerned. I'm okay, but that's probably how I'll go, right? When I go, they'll just be like, nope, just no more posts. Uh Thank you to my pals at Logger Shed. I've got a bunch of beers backed up now from a couple other breweries that I want to talk about. One I needed a, a, a corkscrew. I don't have a corkscrew, so let's get into this. Cheers. First beer in five days. Let's go. Cheers. So this is malt forward. Very much so. Um... You can feel that honey. It does give it a sense of smoothness. And and when with honey, when they use honey, and if honey is used right, and I think it is here in this beer, and it's, it helps make it a strong beer, obviously, um, with that sugar there that the, the yeast can ferment. Is, does it? I don't know. What am I talking about? Um, it gives it this kind of smooth sweetness that is not overwhelming. It fits well in beer. I think honey and beer work well together. Maybe that's why mead works. I don't know. I've only had mead a couple of times, and it really didn't agree with me. Um, it's nice malt forward. There's hints of, like... Bit of pithy ci citrus, pithy citrus bite on the sides. It's a little bit warm. It's very smooth. It's quite a nice beer to ease back in um, if you're going to go with a malt forward uh, style beer. I don't know how you would classify it. I mean, strong ale kind of works. Seven five. It's it, it's got some fruity esters to it. It's a strong ale. I, I and I think I've always liked that about Lager Shed, and I think maybe that you know they deserve that respect. Is that they've always been pretty straightforward with what the beer is. It's a dark ale, it's an amber ale, it's a, it's a lager. They make straight up lagers. They make beers that people want to drink, right? They just like regular folk, regular folk drinking beers. But when they do stuff like this, I appreciate that. You know, a little, little nod to the nerd guy. I'm going to take it easy though, right? Ease back into it. Um, maybe it's good to pause every once in a while, isn't it? I guess so, right? That's what they say, don't they? They say that. But uh, thanks to my pals at the Lager Shed for breaking, breaking the dry spell there. Um, uh, but I'm going to slow sip this one because it certainly will go right to my head and I got, got to make dinner tonight, but I don't have to work till noon tomorrow. So I've got that going for me. Um, but yes, I, uh, thank you for uh, my, my few pals there that reached out. I am okay. I'm feeling fine. I'm not a hundred percent back. I'm probably like 90%, but, uh, negative. And then I guess that's good. And then, you know, uh, positive science works, man. Science, baby, beer, but yeah. Poke's back. Let's go. Lager shed. Get them in ya. Cheers. A little known fact, uh, my, my mom's parents, my, my grandpa and my granny, uh, God bless them both, dear God's bless them both, uh, they were from Dundas, and that's where Lager shed is. So there's a, a place in my heart there. So thanks again to my pals at Lager shed. Cheers. <laughs> 